So I've used a little trick to reset my image choices for today so I can actually play with you before this round ends. You can see that my garbage session is still there, so I'm going to use a different app to capture my impressions. And you'll see how, um, how simple or how silly my process is. At the bottom of the screen here are some target coordinates that I could use as a focal point um, to try to direct uh, my investigations, right? 07366721. I'm going to read that out loud, and then I'm going to draw it on the screen to try to distract my conscious thought so that maybe some impressions of the distant unknown target, the correct photo choice, will um, come through to my consciousness. I'm going to try to allow that to arise in consciousness without filtering or judging it. Um, I'm going to start by making a scribble, which is called an ideogram. And while I'm making that scribble, I'm going to try to pay attention to any feelings or sensations or impressions, maybe in my body, or any feelings of illusion or death, depth um, or feeling. And I'm going to try to capture those brief impressions that come through. So 07366721. Idea what this might be. Um, working in this app isn't ideal, but I'll save this and sliding, rising, hard angle down, up, down. My first instinct is that this might be um, a structure of some kind or a man made object. And so let's take a look at what the description options are. The first one is a white mug on a saucer, halfway drunk, with frothy substances. Then the next one is a white horse in a grassy field with a blue blanket. There's a fence made up of uh, poles. There's a simple wooden structure visible. Can I match my impressions of sliding, rising a hard angle, down, up, down, to either of these. I didn't really do enough work on it, um, but my first instinct would be the top image, a description of a mug. If I sort of imagine, let's say, I sort of imagine the side of a mug and then coming down into the rim of the mug and then up on the other side and then down. Um, that might have a sliding, rising, a hard angle, a down and up and a down. So sliding like along the side, a sliding along the side, and rising up, and then a hard angle as I'm feeling the rim of the, the mug, and down as I realize there's depth in the mug, and then up as I come up the other side, and then down again. Maybe, maybe that object would be something like this. And I really don't know. I don't know. All I have is that most vague, those most vague impressions that, um, that came when drawing the ideogram. And I might, on normal circumstances, do this a few times and get more impressions. For today, let's just try this, okay? So for giggles, I'm going to take this and I'm going to set my slider to 100% confidence for the top image and commit. So 
So as I said, we just made it in the gate, um, and we'll be back for the results.